Scratch has hundreds of pre-made characters that you can use to create animated stories. But what if you want to put yourself into the story? In this tutorial, we're going to show you a simple way to convert ordinary photos of yourself into animated Scratch sprites. First, you're going to want to create a storyboard for your project, like this one, so you know what pictures you'll need to take. You can do this with a piece of paper and a pencil. For each scene, write what pose you want your character to do. Now that we have a plan, it's time to take our photos. You can use a digital camera, phone, tablet, laptop, or pretty much any device that can take pictures. For the best results, you can use a green screen if you have one, but you can also use a blank wall or any backdrop that isn't too cluttered. Make sure you're standing far enough away from the camera to see the whole body, from the top of your head all the way down to the bottom of your feet. You'll also want to make sure you're in a brightly lit room or outdoors. Here are some examples of photos that will fit nicely in our project. Notice how we have good lighting, a plain background, and a large frame. And here are some examples of pictures that don't work as well. In this example, the camera is too close to the person. And in this example, the background is too messy. Now we have our pictures. If you used another device to take your photos, you're going to have to find a way to get your photos onto your computer. You can email them to yourself, share them on a Google Drive, or put them on a flash drive or whatever else works for you. If you're having trouble with this part, ask an adult for help. Now that we have all of the files on our computer, we need to remove the background from your image. You can use an image editing program like Photoshop, but I want to show you a really amazing website that uses the power of AI to separate pictures of people from their background. It's called remove.bg, and it's totally free for small images like you'll be using in Scratch. Download all of the images that remove.bg makes for you onto your computer. Now that we removed the backgrounds from each of the pictures, we can import them into Scratch. To do so, open up Scratch. Once you're on the project that you want to add the picture to, go to Sprites and select the blue bubble. Click on Upload Sprite at the top of the Navigate to the folder with all your pictures. Once there, select one of the images. Now that the picture has been added to Scratch, we can add the rest of the poses as costumes. Select the sprite that you just created and navigate to the Costumes tab and to the top left. Once there, hover on the blue bubble and select Upload a costume at the top. Now you can add all of the other images. Now that your characters are loaded into Scratch, it's time to start coding. Use voice balloons, text-to-speech, or voice recordings to make your characters talk. Use glide commands to make your character move across the screen, and use message commands to choreograph your character's movements. With a little effort, you'll have a new amazing Scratch story or game, starring you.